Hello everyone, Siege Link here, back with the next episode of The Survivalists. We're going to pick up right where we left off, immediately after the next recording. We're heading to the next island, which is very close to where we need to be, and I'm pretty certain that this is the island with the iron, which is the most valuable of the islands. And also the easiest to traverse, by far. Where, um, this one down here, there's, like, swampy area that, um, you get, like, toxin from. And at least the first trip, we're getting a little lucky. In that there is no, um, sharks or anything. There's tons of these, and they kind of take overly too much time that, um... And also the same, like, every game. Um, so if I did do this, like, a second time, I wouldn't be doing it. I'm pretty certain I can mine here. Yep. This takes a bit. See, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is, um, make, like, a medium chest. That way I can just have a decent chunk more storage. I just don't want to have a bunch of small chests. I'm probably going to put one of the small chests. I might make another small chest just to have it be um, on the raft itself, at least for now. I just realized because they're here. This is kind of an interesting thing is that when you do individual hits with the cursor, this is one of the good things about the, the cursor directions, but even then it doesn't have to be like direction wise. I'm going to put that there just so I can keep an eye on how much iron I have. Wow, okay, there's a labyrinth right next to me. That is one close labyrinth. Okay, these are not hardwood. Or, not hardwood, um... I forget what it's actually called, but there's a special name for it. Oh! Never mind, okay, I've chopped these trees down a bunch and I've never gotten... Okay, so first of all, when I've chopped these trees down, I've never gotten any hardwood. Um, yeah, hardwood. And second of all, um... I've never been able to chop them with the flimsy pickaxe. I've never come anywhere close to being able to get hardwood with a flimsy pickaxe. Sure, it's it was only looks like it was only one, and I've chopped down I think maybe like eight or ten of these, so maybe it's just like very rare chance. One way or another, that's very useful, at least knowledge wise. Just knowing that that's possible. How many I get, I'm going to need? I forget how much... Hinges are, I think, metal chunks and... A vault right next to a labyrinth? Jeez. I'm just going to go into line pickaxe because it's low, I think. Let's see if we can get another monkey here. Something else other than that, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh, wait a minute. Back enough for a second thought. There's two little grindstones here, so I assume there's two plates. Unless I just can't see it on this side. Nope, there's no trigger here. I hear I'm, I'm pretty sure I hear a monkey in the distance. Unless that was just mine echoing or something. I'm pretty certain there's not supposed to be one in this room. Yeah, there's not. It's getting a bit dark here. Pretty sure I hit that. So I think what might have happened there is I might have like hit it and dashed away at like the exact same time, which caused the hit sound to trigger, but didn't fully like. Yeah, and actually now that I look at it, it does look like the um, it loses like health, like the iron loses health, like right like a couple of frames after um, that happens. Oop. Got a 
random monkey. Don't have anything, uh, don't want to make a fireplace out here, though. For now, we'll wait on him. But just finding another monkey is very useful. I want to have at least two or three, really. Two so that I can have either one for fighting and one for crafting, or have, um... Bone, not very useful. Fusion shield. Okay, now these guys are one of the... Another... I've gotten three sturdy multi-tools now. So one of these, like, boar variants should be a boar that gives, um, sugarcane seeds. I'm not sure if it's this one itself, but... And as you can see, my weapons are doing no damage whatsoever. And I actually just realized I'm gonna run out of durability. Okay. Good lesson in the survivalist. Don't pick fights that you can't win. Thankfully, this has a bunch of durability on it, and I'm doing very good at dodging. And they're also grouping up, which is going to make things uh, a lot easier. So a super good micro, you can win a lot of fights that you shouldn't be able to, but... Last one. More bristles. Thirty-six. Okay, let's go for a tiny bit more iron, and then let's head out because I've got full inventory. So it should be, I think, about four. Or forty, I meant, but forty-one. guys. Let's get away from him. I've got 44. That should be... I'm not sure if that's enough for a medium chest, because I think they're... Because hmm. I have to... I have to make things that are get to the medium chest and i'm not sure of the exact path i might just need to make things that the medium chest requires in order to act, gain access to the medium chest but i'm not sure if i have to make something else first that's why i want to get basically as much iron as possible i'm at basically 50 here though so that hopefully should be plenty well i'm at let me take a look yeah what thing does they want i don't even see it it's like something later on i guess There's my raft. So I've got these. I've got half health on my pickaxe here. So let's just get rid of these two iron chunks over here. So I'll put me at 55. 55. And I think it was something like, I think, 6 and 4 for each part. So I think I've got, like, just enough to make a medium chest. Yep. Uh, but he... Okay, so this is something I have noticed specifically when it comes to rafts, is sometimes they just randomly stop following if you get on a raft. That's a big issue, because then they'll try to follow you, and they'll just, like, walk on water as well. Like, you're probably going to see it later on in this playthrough. It's just, it just looks so weird. They literally walk on water. They don't, they don't, there's no swimming animation, because they didn't coat that. I really like how it's. I have. I can just go straight, and I don't have to like angle around the side. Like that's how I've, what I've had to do in all my other worlds. Like this spawn wise, in terms of the other Iron Island, is by far the best spawn I've ever had.
Huh, that's interesting. It will always stack itself regardless. I feel like that might be a little annoying for some people sometimes if they want to, like, separate, like, you take this much, you take this much. So, like, in multiplayer. But other than that, I don't think it's really that bad. Okay, I definitely need another chest. So let's grab... And what was it other than iron that I needed for some of the stuff? I think for the most part it was just iron and I think maybe some stone slabs. I haven't made a single one of them yet, so you know what? I'll just do that just to unlock some of the, uh, the options. And yeah, while I'm at it, I should, uh... that with, with the, the bat he has. Glass sheet. Oh yeah, that's the uh, the bomb, I think. So yeah, I need nails and I think it's like refined iron or something. I forget. Okay, so now let's wait a moment. Sturdy multi-tool that there it is, metal sheet. I think. Yep. yep. Okay, I think I'm pretty sure these are the chests here. Yeah, that's swords. Those are the tools. Because I think, thank God I remember this from the other one. You have to make a bat before you can make the tools, which is annoying. Uh, so yeah, I need to make this first, which thankfully is only one iron piece. One iron piece, and then a tool rod and rope, which is very easy. It's kind of a bummer, because I already have way too many of them as it is. Yeah, here, here we go, metal hinge. So two iron bits... And nails. Oh, yeah, it was under this, wasn't it? I don't have to unlock it, I just need this. So, yeah, so how is. Yeah, so it looks like I'm gonna have plenty. I just need metal ingots and then. Metal ingots and nails. And I only need two hinges. Yep. Okay, now, how did I make the, like, plank again? That's the thing I forget. I think it's, is it just rope? Yeah, rope and bunch of timber. on my keyboard there. Ugh. Yes, I need this for a lot of stuff later on, which is a nuisance. Do I have any wheat seeds? I don't think I do yet. Uh, what was it? Planks. Here we go. And then, was it wooden? Was it, yeah. Let's move these. Medium chest. And then we 
they can make a large chest, which actually, if I wanted to, I could make right now. Which might be good, but I'm not sure. Let me adjust my stuff first. The medium chest, I think I want to put, like, all this stuff in here. What was over? Okay. Extra, extra rug, apparently. food, which speaking of which I really need to make some, and actually hang on, before I forget, let's make some of those just so I can, again, fill it out, maybe all of those, which is a little annoying, but still worth it so I can fill out the uh, tech tree, especially since if I remember correctly, the bottom part had the best uh, food in terms of how easy it was to make. I think it was, actually it might've been, this was one of my, I think. Yeah, sweetened meat. So 100 health, 40 food for just four meat chunks, four berries and one palm leaf. This one was also decent, but yeah, this one was not pretty terrible. This one I think might've been the one that he was asking for, but I think there was like a bone in the one he was asking for. Now, have I made a glass bottle yet? I don't think I have. Making a bunch of meat kebabs here. In fact, I'm gonna just eat that right away. Eleven of them. All right, that's good because I've been scrounging by for food for quite a while, so having plenty of this is finally good. Yeah, let's put let's put eight of them in there. I don't really need to carry around too many. What do I need to make for this again? A bunch of those. I've got plenty of stone. How much mud do I have? Should have enough here as well. I think I need two for each, and then... Okay, I don't need mud for this at all. It's just the mud for the rest, which means I need... Was it 16? No, I think, think 12. And I just need a bunch of this. So 12 times two is 24, so I need 24 of these. I'm already pretty close, yeah. All that stone mining came in handy. Oh, 
I actually had exactly enough. 40, perfect. Might actually have to separate this out. That could be what that extra chest, chest is. Although I do think I kind of want to make a large chest immediately and then put... Because I want to put one of the small chests. Because I have one empty small chest right now. And I, what I want to do is put this one on the raft. That way if I run out of space, I, I don't have to immediately come home. Even though it is a lot closer than it usually is. I'm pretty sure I should be able to make that with the amount of iron I have. 41 iron, yeah, I've barely used any of my iron just to make the just to make two hinges. And I even needed to build a sturdy multi-tool, which took an additional one, so yeah, I should have plenty. should upload those games of CSGO again. Taking up a lot of space. It's not really a necessary thing though. Well, actually it might be, it might be close to like 70 uploads, or 70 like recordings. Okay, I should have enough here. Yep, this next one is be this number 16. And yeah, I only needed them. Um... So yeah, that and then I need some uh, planks. So it's rope and So I need six, right? Yeah, so four more. So that's rope and a bunch of timber. Oh, that's where it was. Forgot about that. I needed three more of these to build the crucial thing. So I'm gonna need mud. Let's get some more of these going. Yeah, this is what you need to repair with. It kind of bugs me that this... Well, actually, never mind. So yeah, this requires three stone slabs. And that's how to repair all the flimsy ones. Sharp axe and sharp flimsy pickaxe. So let's go do pickaxe first. I think we'll do axe first just because. Actually, no. Let's do a second one of those first before I forget. 
do sharp axe first, just because that's going to unlock some more things. Now, the fun fact is you actually can't do a sharp shovel, which I find kind of curious. Yeah, sharp lightweight axe, which requires this. And then sharp spear. I haven't even made a spear yet, which I will just to fill out the um, the thing. I kind of like the, bo the, the upgraded bone, which we'll get to a little later. In fact, I can do that right now. I completely forgot about that. At least that one was still kind of damaged. So it wasn't a complete waste. But yeah, I could have... That's kind of what I was saving that for. <laughs> yeah, mud... Mud and stone is pretty easy to get, so I can make a bunch of those. So yeah, this right here is what I'm looking for. So two, it's two stone chunks and then a bunch of boar belts. Three, one, two. Now, I think the other one I've got is a tiny bit more damaged. But let me double check. Yep. also pretty later on. Now, do I have a pickaxe? I don't. made a lot of progress on that. Now, oh yeah, I wanted to make, um, to make a large chest. I'm trying to keep it, like, at an even number that I have left. And I think it's three nails I need. One per middle hinge. And once you can recruit, or recruit, once you can build large chests, there's no reason to go for medium chests. Because they barely cost more. So planks and then wood. I'm actually going to need more tall grass. Like, I'm going to have to literally go and just get tall grass. <laughs> I've never thought I'd need to say that in this game. Like, really. It's by far the most plentiful resource, to the point where I've literally started to just throw away some. Because I can't even, like, craft it quick enough. It's that plentiful. Like, I've got too many ropes and too many of these. And I guess with the spare iron, because I do have plenty of iron right now, so it's really later on that iron becomes really expensive. Yeah, I thought... It, I, I remember initially, like, using multiple stacks just on, like, making a bunch of metal sheets. But it turns out I don't actually really need that inch. Okay, so... So that does require metal sheets there, okay. So... Make two of those. And those boar belts, right? Yep, three boar belts. And then two metal sheets, which I know I have one of. I'm not sure if I actually have a second yet. I don't. And then coal. Oh, I need one more. Are you kidding me? Dang it. I'm legit running out of both rope and... <laughs> I'm running out of rope and <laughs> on the grass. Okay, so that's good there. Let's also free up some needed inventory space.
Oh, I actually need a bow. So I actually got two bow. I got two full bows worth without actually even crafting it. Interesting. Now this I know is just the arrows, so I've basically fully let, gone that. Fully done that bit. make a bunch more of these. And actually, before I go to sleep, I'm gonna just go out and grab some long grass, because I feel like I want to end a recording here, just keep it nice, sweet, and to the point. But the problem is <laughs> that if I am to do that, I'm probably gonna forget that I need long grass. That's the bit another big thing. Is that once you get sharp ones you pick axes, you can chop things down in one go. Which is very useful with spin attack. Look at that. Yeah, I just realized shovel also doesn't have a like a mega hit. Get a bunch of palm trees cut before the world replenishes. Itchy nose today. And you know what? Let's just do that. I can destroy that later on if I need to. That's a good indicator of my base nearby as well. I don't want to fight you guys if I can avoid it, but if you really want to die, so be it. use my pickaxe this way I don't destroy the trees but I do destroy all the long grass That's three stacks of, of tall grass. That should be plenty. For now, at least. And 
Where's my stone at? Okay. Let's take another stab at some of the uh, stone nearby. If I had a bunch of stone, I'm already used up a bunch of it. Just enough not to go over. That was perfect. Now I think about it, I'm gonna be real annoyed with myself if I don't um, uh, fix uh, the chest first. So let's do that. So what am I gonna? How am I gonna organize the large chest to the point where it's not too big, but not too small? I guess just yeah. Let me just move all this stuff first. That's part of tools, that's part of tools, that's part of tools. So that's my first sort of area. chest open which we can move that stuff to or we can move this stuff to this is gonna fill up late so I'm gonna move this to the edge and then simply um, put this stuff in there or at least the stuff I'm not gonna be using just the random stuff that I might have a use for later I still haven't found out even in my world I think th this stuff can be crafted into some like very powerful stuff later on which makes it weird to me that you can get so much of it early <laughs> Keep on the edge just because it's right next to that. And I'm pretty sure this is empty. Yep. Is there any way I can fill this out? Uh, yes, I did want to get these. I do kind of want to fill out the walls. That I don't want to do that, that I can't do yet. Repair bench. Could do that right now. This is just decoratorial stuff. So I think I could do that right now, but I think I'm going to wait until uh, next time. So that'll be it for this episode. These two series of episodes back to back. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.